Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book related video. And what I thought I'd do in this video, in this short video, is I give you my take regarding the Bloodshot trailer that was released a few days ago. And I just watched it again on the laptop. And uh, as you can tell uh, from my grin, I love the trailer. So those of you who are interested in just my take regarding the trailer, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. I'm uh, super psyched, uh, super excited for the movie. And personally, I, I cannot believe we're getting a bloodshot movie at this caliber, at this level, with so many unique people involved in the production of it right and so much history behind it and so much blood sweat and tears going into it to bring us this movie right so i'm crazy excited and i thought the trailer looked amazing okay for those of you who want a little bit more right just to let you know where i'm coming from where this perspective is coming from right I've been a comic book collector for a long time uh, i did a little bit of comic book publishing and as far as the valiant universe is concerned i started reading their comics right off the get-go in the early 1990s and i followed some of their history some of the chaos associated with the comic book industry in general but really amplified with valiant comics right and i fell in love with these characters with bloodshot and the rest of the valiant universe um, since reading their first issues that they put out with Harbinger, Exo, uh, Magnus, Solar, and all that jazz. And I have all those early issues, right? I have that whole collection. And if you've been following um, the type of work we've been putting on this channel, the comic book related work, uh, the videos we've been putting out, may they be collecting comic books, right? May they be buying comic books online, getting shipments here, doing unboxings. May they be just talking about the history of comic books. May they be reading um, the comic books, readings that we've done, right? Because we put out a reading, we put out um, a handful of readings from Valiant Comics, but one of the readings we put out a while ago before, I don't think the Bloodshot movie was even announced, back then right i forget i think we put that on in 2015 2016 maybe but we put out a reading of eternal warrior number four rye number zero and eternal warrior number five or flipping through eternal warrior number five anyway we did a full-blown reading of rye number zero and looked at the cameo appearance the first cameo appearance of bloodshot and eternal warrior number four right and that's one of the longest comic book readings we've ever put out right so if you want to know about the history of Bloodshot, who this character is, where he makes his first appearance. You can definitely check out that video. There's a fair bit of information there that you can you can get caught up with the character if you don't mind spoilers for the movie, right? So I don't wanna get into that aspect of it. I just wanna get into the politics, the economics, and how excited really uh, some of us comic book aficionados and valiant fans are for this movie okay uh and for me um like i haven't been this excited about a comic book related movie being released for a very very long time maybe since the first x-men movies were were announced back in 20 years ago 20 yeah 20 years ago or so that when they were announced right because x-men being x-men it got everyone hyped up right so i'm hyped for it right i loved it i thought the movie looked the trailer looked amazing if you know the some of the stories with the this character bloodshot that have been presented written um in the comic books and i haven't read all of it i've read a nice chunk but i haven't i'm way behind on my readings and stuff like this there is an element of the comic books huge element of the comic books in there there's a story it appears like they're telling a story that was related to the relaunch of valiant comics back in 2012 which connected up into the harbinger wars right so there's an element it appears like they're telling that story where uh, 
well from the trailer you can take a look at it and see what it's about right but it appears like that's the story being told in this uh, in this movie that's what I got out of the trailer okay so I'm super excited for this as far as um, the history of the Valiant Universe uh, Valiant Universe in the early 1990s when it came out it really took the industry by surprise right they quickly rose up to be the third largest comic book publisher in the industry within like two three years right which was unheard of right because people were just dying for amazing stories to be told in comic books again right because marvel and dc weren't were just in the there was a lot of noise a lot of low quality comics that were being put out by marvel and dc right so the caliber of comics had dropped from dramatically especially considering what uh, we had been seeing with independent comic books coming out in the 1980s where the type of stories that could be told right and pre that in the golden age of comics with ec comics and whatnot right so valiant comics when it hit the stage in the 1990s it really filled a vacuum that existed for people that were looking for amazing stories to be told in comic books again right so everything that they were basically putting out the first couple of years that Valiant Comics was putting out, basically all their comic books, they were amazing reads. You couldn't go wrong picking up a Valiant comic book, having to read through it and going, wow, what? That was incredible, right? You could not do the same with Marvel or DC. You really had to be selective with what you picked, right? So that's sort of the history of Valiant Comics when it hit the stage in the 1990s. And in the 1990s, the comic book industry went through tremendous amount of turmoil right the bubble was created and um in on every level right and then the bubble burst and certain companies went under right valiant comics being one of them and as well as marvel comics marvel comics basically went into bankruptcy and it had to be bought out by toy biz and whatnot i was following the information back then so there was a lot of things happening right and when the dust settled basically the industry started picking up again right and there was a sort of a before the bubble bursting there was sort of a attempt at relaunching valiant comics that failed right and then into the 2000s we saw sort of the the comic book medium picking up again right and excitement being built and a lot of that was driven by the cinematic universe that marvel comics was putting out right with the x-men with spider-man and whatnot right that sort of got people excited in comic books again the aficionados anyway that stepped away once the bubble burst and then you saw more people coming into the comic book realm and reading more comic books and there's m more overlap with the comic uh comic book industry and movies and tv shows and whatnot right and then for me i was one of the people that walked away and has walked away from the industry i go through cycles where i buy a lot of comic books and i don't buy a lot of comic books or i read a lot don't read a lot collect a lot don't collect any sell some my collection or whatnot right and everything goes in cycles we've talked about this right but for me the driving force that brought me back into comic books was the relaunch of valiant comics in 2012 right so it was valiant comics that really piqued my interest again or got me into hardcore collecting in the early 1990s right and has kept me there for the last 30 years and it was valiant comics that did it again for me in 2012 bringing back bringing me up back to buying comic books where when I found out that Valiant Comics had done a relaunch with all these amazing characters being revamped, right? And staying true to their original story and finding out that this was being done because there was a comic book fan that loved Valiant Comics and he had the means available to him to build up some connections, get some funds together, to buy out the rights to these characters and relaunch them and start introducing new stories based on these characters, right? So a huge 
huge props, huge thank you goes to, and I'm going to brutalize his name, uh, Dinesh Sham Dasani for having enough faith to bring this universe to this stage where we are right now, which being a valiant fan and really comic book collector for the last 30 years, there wasn't very many people who believed, who had faith, right, that we would ever see this day. And this is sort of plays true to the character of Bloodshot because one of the and Bloodshot is an amazing character, really. It wasn't the first character that Valiant Comics created, but it was derived from the first original character that Valiant Comics created, right? And I'm going to give a little bit of spoiler here, right? But Bloodshot, right, and Rai are very much connected together. And Rai is the first original Valiant char character that Valiant uh, comics created right so there's a brilliant little link there right and bloodshot was really introduced when valiant comics just took the industry by storm and their orders just went through the roof and everybody was chasing valiant comics right so there is a tremendous amount of history associated with valiant comics but bloodshot and uh, sort of the the core essence the core character of bloodshot is is he's a soldier that has through nanotechnology uh, nanites has been made invincible and almost immortal right if you want to read uh, just to let you know if you want to read an amazing one-shot story of this character uh, pick up book of death okay and uh, fall of bloodshot right so we did a reading of, and it, this is sort of a four one shots that Valiant Comics put out with, uh, uh, that were related to the Book of Death mini series that they put out, which kicked us off into the Wrath of the Eternal Warrior, right? So for, so for those of you who've been following Valiant Comics, if you wanna know how this plays out, right? But one amazing standalone read for Bloodshot is Book of Death, Fall of Bloodshot. And if you want to get a feel for the caliber of comic that you would be reading with Fall of Bloodshot, it's on the same level of another reading that we put out for Valiant Comics, which was Book of Death, Fall of Harbinger. And that standalone uh, for the Harbinger uh, characters, I guess you want to think about it, the Renegades and Peter and whatnot, that standalone comic we did a reading for as well and that is uh for me one of the greatest single issue comic books that has ever been put out one of them anyway okay as far as the people involved from the movie side of things and there is other people that are involved from the comic book uh, from the creation of this character from the comic book realm they're involved with the movie as well one of them being of course uh, Bob Layton right he was one of the original creators of uh, Bloodshot right and there's I wrote the names down here Don Pearl uh, Kevin Hanhook and Hanhook and Jeff Madlow those are the character those are the people that have been credited for from the comic book side of things on uh, on IMDB right but Bob Layton is one of the main players and Dinesh is one of the main players right outside of the comic book realm these are the people that are involved with this movie right first person is Dave uh, Wilson he's the director of this movie okay and I didn't know who Dave Wilson is and I didn't look into who was behind creating bloodshot before not too deep anyway i knew about the screenwriter okay i didn't know about dave wilson i didn't really care too much about who was involved with the bloodshot movie i was just excited that there was going to be a bloodshot movie really it, it's something that i never expected would ever happen ever right and we're seeing it in 2020 18 17 
27 years after Bloodshot was created, right? Wow, what a ride, right? What a ride, okay? So that's from the comic book perspective. The people involved in the production of this movie, Dave Wilson, okay? I didn't know about him. Dave Wilson put out an animated short that I had seen that I didn't know it was him. And I thought the animated short was amazing. And the animated short is called Love, Death, and Robots. Watch it. You will love it if you love animation, right? So when I found out he had done that, I was like, oh, sweet. And then I looked on his history of what he's worked on. This is his first directorial debut, debut right? The first major movie or TV series or anything short live action that he's directing as far as I know, right? Holy camoles, right? Now, who is Dave Wilson? This got me crazy excited about it, especially after watching the trailer. He's a visual effects person. He worked on Avengers, the 2015 Age of Ultron. He's done a lot of video games, Star Wars related, related video game stuff um, in, uh, on the visual effects front, right? So that explains some of the visual effects we're getting in this trailer. So just on that fr front, it should be absolutely amazing. As the directing front, what I've seen of him, which is just a short animated thing called Love, Death and Robots, was brilliant and the storytelling was fantastic, okay? That's the director. Here is the screenwriter and writer. Bob Layton is there as the comic book front. I'm pretty sure Dinesh had a huge role to play in that as well. I don't know if he did any writing, but he would have been definitely involved in the, in the consultation, right? And there's a handful of other people from the comic book round that were involved with that. I apologize, apologize if I don't know your names right off the bat and I'm not mentioning them, right? But here is the person that wrote the screenplay, okay? Eric Hess, I'm gonna brutalize his name, Eric Hesser, Hesserer, Hesserer, <laughs> I don't know, I can't pronounce his name, right? And who is Eric? He's, he was a screenwriter for a few movies, right? Some that have done well, but the main one that I knew was Arrival, right? And if you want to know the movie Arrival, um, if you haven't seen it, it's a great science fiction movie. Okay, it's about uh, alien communication, right? Interaction, right? Uh, and we put out a movie, and this is how intelligent his screenwriting was for Arrival. So I'm super, super excited about Bloodshot because I got a feeling it's not just going to be wow, bam, the visual effects and the character and the universe and us as comic book fans and Valiant fans seeing Bloodshot brought to life, right? We're actually getting at something should be intelligent, reflecting what we've been seeing in the comic books, right? Why intelligent? Because Arrival was an intelligent science fiction movie. It didn't rely on visual effects to wow you to blow you away to make you think about the movie days weeks after you finished watching it right it was a script it was a screenplay it was a story being told right and the way it was being told an arrival if if you're if you've seen some of the other videos we put out i actually put out a video on arrival and the title of the video we called it mathematics and movies analyzing arrival right the implication of their time travel and we linked it up for asmr mathematics because there's a certain perspective they're introducing in arrival in regards to how time travel is done which i thought was brilliant and very unique and needed a little bit of sharing right so i was super excited to find out that he was the screenwriter for Bloodshot, and I knew he was a screenwriter for Bloodshot uh, before the trailer came out, as soon as he was announced, right? And that was my initial, oh, this might get really exciting, right? Okay, and 
The other main person involved with this is someone that I've personally, an actor that I've personally loved, which is a main character, which is Vin Diesel, right? And who is Vin Diesel? My first introduction that where he really etched himself in my memory, right? That I realized, okay, this person, I'm into watching him on the screen, specifically, specifically related to science fiction and action, which is Vin Diesel, right? And the movie that he put out that I saw and I've seen multiple times now, and I highly recommend it. If you like science fiction, Pitch, Pla Pitch Black is an amazing movie to see, right? And he's the main actor in it, and he did an amazing job in it. And as soon as I found out that Vin Diesel was going to be playing Bloodshot, there were a few people out there in the comic book realm or in, in, in any realm. There's a certain amount of criticism that comes out. I personally was excited about it because I loved him from Pitch Black. After looking into Vin Diesel, and of course Vin Diesel is known um, known for Fast and the Furious and Chronicles of Riddick, which is a follow-up to Pitch Black and stuff, right? But one place I didn't realize Vin Diesel was involved in, which is one of my favorite movies of all time, out of a few hundred favorite movies that I have of all time, just like Bloodshot, um, what do you call it? Book of Death followed Harbinger and Fall of Broadshot being one of a few hundred standalone comic books that I consider to be the, some of the best in the industry, right? Vin Diesel was the voice of the Iron Giant. Are you kidding me? Right? So we got Dave Wilson, huge visual effects person that has worked on tremendous number of Star Wars video games, has worked on Avengers, right? And he's put out an amazing little short. We got Eric Hesser, sir, <laughs> that has, has written, from what I've seen anyway, an amazing screenplay play for a phenomenal science fiction movie. We got Dinesh involved with it, which is, it would be taking a super fan and allowing him, allowing them to re- create, reintroduce, bring together characters from a universe that you thought were long dead, right? Put his heart and soul into it and see it through, get all the funding together to produce the comic books, cut the deals that he needed to cut to bring this movie to realization. And we've got Vin Diesel, which is one of the best science, science fiction specifically for me as far as I'm concerned, actors and action act, action movie actors out there working on this movie and this is what we're going to see in february 2020 right being someone that's been a comic book collector for 30 plus years who has published his own comic books and had them whoop, had the company go dot dot during the bubble realizing how hard it is to see projects through for multiple years, bring the funding together, bring the people together, right? Dinesh was able to do this, right? Coming to it from this perspective, right? Loving the bloodshot character and the Valiant universe in general, being, you know, a lot of people ask me, all the comic book videos we put out, you know, showing you guys my comic book collection, us doing comic book haul videos, us listing comic books on eBay, selling them, connecting it up. Slowly we're collecting it up to ASMR mathematics and the mathematics of collecting comic books. And we're going to use the mathematics of publishing comic books and look into the other mathematics aspects of comic book industry. Coming from a from this perspective looking at this trailer from this perspective i am absolutely blown away i am giggly i am excited i am i can't wait for the movie to come out okay and to see what is to follow okay so that's sort of my long-winded uh, take on the bloodshot trailer Maybe we'll make another one of these videos once the Bloodshot movie comes out. Uh, and uh, we'll see where it goes, goes, good or bad, right? But I got my fingers crossed 
I think is going to be phenomenal personally. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of these characters come to the cinematic universe from Valiant Comics. I'm excited. I'm excited. Huge thank you to the people that are involved with this project. And props, Danish, man, phew, never thought it would go this far. Never thought it would go this far. Okay. That's it for now, gang. I'll see you guys in the next video.